If you're a fan of Kawhi Leonard in the clips, we've got some really good news for you. Kawhi is going to return next season, and he's looking better than ever. It's been a disappointing few seasons ever since Kawhi joined the Clippers, but there's a great chance that next season will be different. Sit back as we're looking at how fans are reacting to Leonard's latest picture, plus some more. Let's get right into it. First stop, let's talk about his picture that's making rounds on social media. When you're a star player coming off a major injury like Kawhi, there's a lot of curiosity amongst fans and the league in general about how you're doing on the road to recovery. Some people think that injuries mean the player won't be the same, but others have more faith. Thankfully, the Clippers released a picture of Kawhi at their training facility to let everyone know that Kawhi hasn't missed a step and that he's ready to return. After seeing Kawhi's latest pictures, it seems as if almost everyone believes he's going to be back to wreaking havoc next season. In the photo, Kawhi can be seen in the middle of a run sporting a blue shirt and short shorts. His upper body looks as good as it always has, but his legs look massive. His thighs look superhuman, and they're a sight for sore eyes. His safe to say that Leonard's thighs are the biggest and the best in the NBA as of now. After all, they're the type of thighs you'd expect from soccer players like Ronaldo, except Leonard's are bigger. Hopefully, Kawhi drops his workout plan because we're just as eager as the next guy to know how he achieved his swole look. Next up, let's see how fans are reacting to the picture. As expected, once the photo was released, lots of social media accounts like Bleacher Report and Clutch Point started sharing the picture on Twitter and Instagram, leading to fans going crazy. The most common reaction was fans fans being in complete and utter awe of the size of his thighs, with one fan calling him Kathai Leonard. One of the funniest reactions was a fan saying that Kyle Lowry finally has some competition. If you know, you know. Others have said that the Clippers will be a problem next season if Kawhi looks like this much of a beast, and even argued that he'll be winning MVP next year at the very least. Diehard fans of Kawhi excitedly said that this will be Kawhi's revenge season, where no one in the league will be able to stop him, be it LeBron, Giannis, or Steph. Everyone made a known how impressed they were with the fact that Kawhi never skips leg day, one of the most dreaded days for anyone who works out. It shows how dedicated Kawhi has been throughout his rehab, though at the same time, a few people commented on the fact that his arms look way too small compared to his legs, while others said that he was training so hard just to be bounced in the second round or blow another 3-1 lead. Whatever you think of Kawhi's transformation, it's just good to see that he's in good shape, because a healthy league means more competition, which results in more entertainment. Moving on, here's why Kawhi trained his legs so much. While Kawhi is one of the best players in the league when healthy, the issue has always been that it's quite rare for him to actually be fit and injury-free. Out of all his injuries, he's hurt his legs the most with various quad, knee, and foot injuries. Leonard's most recent one was also a knee injury as he suffered a torn ACL. That's where his strength training comes in. Based on the picture, it's clear that Leonard's wanting more power in his legs in order to keep his knees and quads free from any and all injuries. Everyone was expecting Kawhi and Paul George to make a lot of noise on the Clippers, but in three seasons, that hasn't happened. Now that Leonard seems to be in the best shape of his career, maybe the duo can finally win it all. Next up, does Kawhi have a good chance of winning MVP this year? Kawhi is one of the most talented and accomplished players when it comes to the postseason, with two championships and two finals MVPs, but when it comes to the regular season, he's usually missing out on lots of games. He's never won a regular season MVP, and we're sure he wants to add that trophy to his resume. If Kawhi plays as he did for the Raptors back in 2000, 19 or even better, then there's a good chance he'll find himself in the MVP race. Though at the same time, the league's only getting more and more competitive. Not only does Kawhi have to compete with Steph, LeBron, Giannis, Jokic, and Embiid, but there are so many young players like Ja and Luka, who are definitely going to be fighting for that coveted MVP trophy as well. If Leonard wants his hand on the trophy, he needs a huge season. He has to lead the Clippers to the top of the mountain in the West while averaging at least 27-30 points and playing some elite defense. If Kawhi doesn't go crazy in the regular season, it's tough seeing him win the award. Fans should be careful not to put too much pressure on the star forward because he's returning from a pretty terrible injury and he might struggle at first, but only time will tell what's actually going to happen. Finally, let's look at how things went for Kawhi the last time he had a big comeback. The 2018 season saw Leonard only play nine games due to a quad injury, which was causing him issues for a while. Added to this was the fact that Kawhi was really unhappy with the Spurs organization, requesting a trade, and the rest is history. Leonard was sent to the Raptors where he had a comeback for the ages. He went out there and had the best season of his career. He was amazing in the regular season and activated God mode in the playoffs as he scored one of the most memorable buzzer-beating game winners of all time. What's more, he was the best player on the floor in the finals leading his team to the championship while he took home the finals MVP. That was a season to remember for Kawhi and his fans, with many hoping that he can recreate this type of situation next season. Moving on to some other news. First
Conversely, we have the LA Lakers adding more depth to their squad. After signing Patrick Beverly earlier this month, the Lakers also got their hands on Dennis Schroeder for the upcoming NBA season. Dennis played for the Lakers back in the 2021 NBA season and put up some great numbers, averaging 15.4 points, 5.8 assists, and one steal a game. He was crucial to the team, but unfortunately for him, he turned down an $84 million deal with the Lakers because he wanted to test his value in free agency. No other team was willing to offer him much money, and he was soon stuck on the island of irrelevancy. While barely earning as much as he could have, now he's returned to the Lakers for just $2.6 million, but at least he's back to playing alongside LeBron. LeBron couldn't maintain his excitement as he posted an Instagram story letting Schroeder know he's so damn happy to have him back. What do you think of the signing, Lakers fans? Are you happy, or do you think there are way too many point guards on the team now? Next, Miami fans have something to look forward to. Jimmy Butler's been the star of the Miami Heat ever since his arrival back in 2019, leading them to the NBA Finals and Eastern Conference Finals in two of his three seasons with the team. While Jimmy's great, his lack of three-point shooting during his stint with the Heat has been a clear issue every season. Though we have some good news for Miami fans because recently, a video surfaced of Jimmy draining 20 straight three-pointers during his workout. That's some Steph Curry stuff right there. His shot looks cleaner than ever as he swished every three-pointer in the video. If he keeps this up throughout the season, we can see him averaging a ton of points and becoming even more lethal than he currently is. Miami already has sharpshooters like Hero and Struss, so if you add Jimmy to the mix, that spells disaster for the rest of the league. Lastly, Paul George reveals the Clippers' most anticipated games next season. With all eyes on the Clippers because of Kawhi's return, there's a lot of excitement about how the team will match up against some of the best teams in the league. Recently, George revealed to finish line that he's most excited to play against the Lakers on opening night, and then went on to list the Warriors and the Bucks. He made it clear that there's no bad blood, but instead, he thinks that these matchups will be the most entertaining and also help the team see how well they can play against the best in the league. That's a wrap for this video. How did you guys react when you saw the picture of Kawhi? Let us know in the comments below. As always, remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.